Welcome back to CTV News, streaming live at ctv.co.nz. Well, they bowed to public pressure. This in just this afternoon, the company that breached a bylaw by relocating an old house to a Billard subdivision is having to do a dramatic U-turn and take it away. And the locals could not be happier. Chelsea Daniels reports. Construction on a relocated, refurbished house has halted due to a public outcry in Travis Country. The owner will remove the house from the corner section after the community publicly announced its distaste over the building, not complying with the same building codes that they had to. We spoke to the residents last week and there have been further developments made by the community. I managed to get in contact with uh, the property owner. I thought it would be really good to, just to have a nicely civil sit down and, and a chat so that um, I could pass on the, the concerns of the residents in the area and also get her point of view because what, what I found was um, a lot of people were making, it didn't look flash what had turned up there and it appeared she was breaching a, a lot of covenant, covenants um, and building consent even but I think it's very hard to, for people to make a, a judgement or a call on something when you don't know all the facts so I thought it would be a really good idea to pass on all our concerns and get exactly what her uh, intentions with the property were. She was aware of a couple of the covenants that um, she hadn't met um, and said that there were some of the other covenants that um, I brought up she said that she wasn't aware of. Residents also held a meeting outside of the property where 150 interested members of the community showed up in support. It was a really good meeting. Um, everybody came away from it with the same views that they just wanted uh, it to be fair and equitable to everybody, that everybody should play by the same rules. Build Green Limited's lawyers spoke on behalf of the company today. The Travis Country project was to provide Christchurch residents with affordable, quality, healthy homes using a fast process and to save a perfectly good home from ending up wasted in the landfill. This project has generated growing opposition from the Travis Country residents and in response to this, a letter from our office was delivered this afternoon to Dr Carleen Edwards, Chief Executive at the Christchurch City Council. The letter advises that the project is being abandoned and that the two houses will no longer be established on the section at 12 Travis Country Drive. The company were moved by the residents' passion for their built community and are sorry for any distress or uncertainty they have caused over the past two weeks. Simply put, Build Green's client failed to appreciate the significance of the matter and the Travis community's strength of feeling about the matter. For that they are sorry. Travis community residents have a passion for their built community and an expectation of what is appropriate development and that is now well understood. The second house that was due to arrive on the site will now not be moved. Arrangements have been made for the house which is currently on the Travis Country Drive site to be removed as soon as possible. All in all, Richie believes that the Travis Country community has become closer over the event. Without a doubt, it's, it's brought everybody closer together in a more community spirit. And, and the good thing was one of the meetings that was had last Wednesday night was um, every, nobody had a lot of animosity, they all just wanted the same thing. They, to be fair and reasonable, they're all like-minded people. Um, didn't let it get to them personally or, or, or become a personal attack, they just wanted certain guidelines to be met. Chelsea Daniels, CTV News.